Well, I've just had the Tesco shop delivered. So this is an online Tesco shop. So um, it now needs to go away. Literally just been dropped off. So on the table, it's all over the shop. <laughs> and then there's some there, and then there's some over there. So I'm going to sort it out and then I'll show you what I got in this Tesco haul. With the frozen stuff um, I'll explain why I've got certain things as well um, okay so let's start here so um, we've got mac and cheese so we've got three of these of the mac and cheese um, some cauliflower cheese bake do you know what normally I would make a lot of this myself however it's now cheaper to buy a ready meal, say, and pop it in the microwave than it is to put your oven on and your gas hob on to make a lot of things. So I'm just sort of seeing, you know, seeing how things go. Um, over here, I've got a box of uh, southern fried chicken in breadcrumbs. There's six in that box. I've got three of the Hearty Food Company Pepperoni pizzas, they're the thin crust ones. Dr. Uck, a restauranty um, pizza. This is like the special one. It's got like um, ham, mushrooms, all the rest of it. And then another pepperoni one. And then over here, I've got a bag of the mini corn on the cobs and hash browns. Um, Hearty Food Company again, great prices. These are this company and they are very nice as well. So just some straight cut chips there. You can do them oven fry, however you prefer to do it. And then some of these uh, fries to go that you just pop into the microwave for a couple of minutes. The reason I got some of this is um, Chris and I will be going away for a few days soon and um so luke is going to be here so a lot of easy bits for him to like cook for himself right get this in the freezer and i'll be back right okay so let's talk about some of the fresh stuff then um breads and uh fresh produce bits and bobs for the fridge so let's start here so i've got three loaves of tesco multi-seeded batch loaf so three of those so um, do we need a loaf out, Chris? We need one out. We need one out and two will go into the freezer, okay. Um, then over here we've got some wraps, so there's eight tortilla wraps in here. Might do like chicken wraps or something today, I don't know, for dinner. And some hot dog rolls. Um, over the back here, some flora buttery. It was cheaper to buy it this way for a kilogram. It was £3.80, I believe. And to buy it in the 500 grams, it was £1.50. <laughs> so, speaks for itself. Um, a block of cheese. So this is the Pilgrim's Choice. I think there is 7.50 grams. Oh, no, 5.50 grams. A cucumber and then a pack of this uh, pepperoni slices and so what we do with the cheaper pepperoni pizzas that I got they were like 69p something like that um, and so we add a little bit more pepperoni and um, yeah and then I just keep some back to pop in with some uh, pasta uh, 16 slices of the honey roast ham a white cabbage so I can cook with some and do a coleslaw. Um, here are two packs of cherry tomatoes. Only these were 49p, so it's club price, Tesco's club card price. Um, so here I've got a, a big bag of the Maris Piper potatoes, um, two packs of baking potatoes. And then a bag of Jersey Royals. Um, garlic bread, some rocket and baby leaf salad, 
some bananas and the yogurts. I got these in my last fortnight shop. Um, it was 10 for four pounds, so you could choose what you wanted. So I've gone for the same thing. So we've gone for three of the Muller Corner yogurt with the black cherry, three of the strawberry corners, three of the uh, apple rice, and then just one of the, um, what's this one, vanilla custard rice, custard rice, just to sort of make it up to the 10. Right, so I'm gonna get this lot away now. So I've found these that should have gone. Well, actually, I think they aren't frozen. I think these are actually kind of from the um, the fridge. But um, I'm going to pop them into threes because you can freeze them. So there are three toad in the holes here. Um, also found some carrots, so <laughs> need to put them away in the fresh stuff. Right, okay, so these are new to us. I think they're new anyway. Um, so they're the Gangsters. It's the chicken and bacon pasty. They were on offer, so I thought we'd try those. So I've got three of those. Three Cornish pasties. These make a great lunch. Or you can turn them into like an evening meal if you want to do that. Um, or oh, they're really good for on the go. Some... Chicken breast mini fillets. I might use those tonight in the wraps and do some wraps actually. Mm. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Um, I've got some steak mints, 5% fat, 7, 50 grams, yeah. Um, this I will split in half and then freeze it. Um, they've got these back. I was really glad to see these back because we buy these a lot when they're sort of back in. So this is part of their like fire pit barbecue uh, season. And they are the fire pit jumbo pork sausages. You get 14 in a uh, in a bot in a tub. They are big, as you can see. And these were they were I think these were in the two for seven pounds. They're four pounds each usually, but they were two for seven. So they're a great staple to pop in the freezer. I mean, if you wanted to like divide them up into sixes or whatever, you know, to divide each pack up rather than freeze a whole pack. I mean, if you're having a barbecue, probably freeze a whole pack, but we will probably divide these up, I think. Right, get this lot away, guys. Right, my lovelies, let's get on to the next lot. So this is like household as in laundry, etc etc bin bags uh dog treats okay so at the back there i've got some of the parcel color protect that was i think it was six pound thirty on offer um a pack of the andrex washlets they were also on offer for four pounds like if you have your tesco club card um some bleach then some bin liners, so the swing bin liners for the kitchen, and then just the black bin liners. Um, some of these, these tough scourers, but I bought these for the kettle, so I used to use them in the kettle to help with the lime scour. They really collect the lime scour uh, quite well, but where we live, the water's so hard, and as a lot of you will know, um, the last new kettle that we bought, it's still lovely, and we were only ever putting bottled water into it to try to help it. However, it's still even got lime scale. Not as much, but it's still got it with the bottled water. So we were thinking, do you know what? I said it before, and I should have listened to myself before. I said once that I'd buy cheap kettles, and then once they were covered in lime scale and, you know, really bad, I would replace the kettle um but i am going to get something that i have seen is excellent for descaling your kettles i uh, haven't been able to get it yet haven't been able to find it but when i do i will share that with you um but for now i'm just going to use these not buying bottled water anymore it became a pain to keep going to get it and you know of course the extra expense so um anyway getting back to this lot uh the coconut oil toilet tissue nine rolls in here i really love this stuff and the shea butter fragrance one uh, it just makes your bathroom smell really nice as well 
um, another hair dye. I'll talk to you about that in a minute. Um, some degradable antibacterial pee bags. Um, some more dog treats. So they love these. The chili chicken with carrot sticks. No rawhide. Um, and then the little flat meaty strips. And then we've got these to start giving them sort of, you know, the day before we go away. So the dogs are coming with us. We're just doing a little South catering break. And um, the dogs are coming with us. I'm going to start to give them these because these are, we've used them before. When we go on a trip, I find that they really do help a little bit. So they're calming treats for dogs. So we sort of start the day before, um, giving them their little treats. And then as a night-night biscuit, they have a few night night time oh i've got me like their children but they are my children my hairy furry children um and then again before the journey um okay so the hair dye so this is the hair dye that i've used and by the time you get to see this video i'm not sure you may have seen the one um i've just recently recolored my hair and i, I filmed it again because i haven't done one of those for a long time um, and they tend to do quite well. A lot of people like them. So this is what I've used. Anyway, it's the bell colour and it's 9.3. Um, so I wouldn't normally be colouring my hair again for a while. And what I tend to do is I use this one. And then the next time I colour my hair, I tend to use a different one, um, which is more ashy. So it takes out any of the brassiness that you might have um you know got in your hair um or of course your purple shampoo but my daughter holly she does have her own beauty salon and she does nails and waxing and threading and all all of those things you know she does lots of different things in her salon um and she has just trained in the hair extensions, the nano ring hair extensions. Um, but because she has just completed her training, she just wants to get her portfolio up together. And um, let me turn you around. I feel a bit rude not talking to you. That's the best, isn't it? Yeah, so as I've said, she's finished her training now and she wants to get her portfolio up together before she starts taking on clients to do theirs. Um, so she has just put some into my granddaughter's hair just a few because she wanted some highlights and holly was like well look, rather than do the highlights i don't want to ruin your hair because she's got beautiful long hair let me just pop a little you know pop a few of these in your hair and see what they look like they look absolutely amazing and she was like mum can i use you as a model and she said to my daughter hannah can i use you as a model so she's using sort of several of us as models um obviously we are buying the hair well, Holly's ordering the hair for us, but we're paying for the hair, but we're not paying for her time. Um, so we're, in effect, kind of getting the hair put in for nothing. Um, I'm not going with any length or anything like that. Mine's just going to be um, in certain sections of my head to just give it a little bit more thickness. Because um, I have very, very fine hair anyway. Um, and of course having a thyroid problem and all the rest of it. So I'm just going to have, I don't know how many she's going to put in, but she's got it all worked out anyway. Um, so literally just to give it the, to, the you know, thickness, volume, um, but not in length. I don't want it any longer at all. Um, so I'm having that done. So I'm going over to see Holly later in the week um, to have a like a colour, colour swatch, whatever you call it, colour match done. So she did say, well, once I've had that done, she'll order the hair in and then um, I should be able to go back the following week to get them done. But um, so she said, if you're going to colour your hair again, mum, colour it two weeks. No, colour it two days before you come over. To have it done so that's why i've bought the same hair color again to get that done so whew. yeah short story long right anyway show the rest of the haul down here on the floor in the back here we've got 
Oh, I've got a few bits in here. I've got four bottles of lemonade. They substituted one. I ordered all the Stockwell ones and they had three of those. They just got um, a Tesco one. So it's really good this time. It was literally one substitution. I was really, really pleased. Good on you, Tesco's. Oh, let me get them out. There we go. Oh, paracetamol in there, please. Okay. So I'll have that over here. Let's get on with this lot here, shall we? Um, store cupboard, bits and bobs. Um, some crunchy peanut butter, great big one. Got four cans of mushy peas. A sweet pickle. And then over there, two of the Hearty Food Company, again, their tomato and herb pasta sauce, a great big uh, Hellman's light mayo. And then at the back there, I've got six cans of baked beans, um, two cans of sweet corn, and a little um, sacks of white pepper. Got some golden granulated sugar. So try that instead of the white sugar. Um, Luke kind of wanted something a little different. I mean, we don't take sugar, but obviously have it in other things. But um, yeah, so tried that one. We're going to try that one. And then over here, I've got some jam. It's just the stock of strawberry jam. Um, some of the Hearty Food Company spaghetti. And then this side, a sausage casserole oven bake. Um, I've seen... Jane, um, what's her channel? Crazy Bag Lady? Yeah, I think so. Uh, she uses this quite a bit and she recommended it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try that. Um, some brown sauce, two cans of plum tomatoes over there and a four pack of tuna in, what's it in? Spring water. Um, Tomato puree, two boxes of paracetamol, some stockwell, apple and black currant squash, some basmati rice, and one one can of uh, corned beef. Cross in front of me, I couldn't even say it. Um, stockwell gravy, and then coffee rice. Two of these. So this is the Nescafe Gold Blend, um, the smooth one. Uh, these are my favourite when it comes to the Nescafe and Chris's. These were, I think these are 300 grams. Oh, 200 grams, 200 grams. And I think they were five pounds each, actually. I think they were anyway. They weren't any more than that. Okay, so the bits I've got here at the front are little bits that we're taking away as i say we're doing self catering so starting to gather bits and bobs up if we end up not using it that's fine we just bring it home um but in case i mean you don't know if the weather's going to be awful do you so brown sauce to take away a pasta sauce to take away and a white pepper um a small peanut butter and a small pickle, some pasta shapes and some jam. Um, also one of these squashes to take away and a toothpaste to take away. This was a pound. I haven't used it before but the uh, reviews were good on this. So this is the, the Pro Complete Sensitive Toothpaste. So I thought we'd try that to take away. Um, then I've got two cans of baked beans to take, two cans of plum tomatoes. Um, this was on offer. It was two pounds, either 2.30 or 2.50 for the Costa, um, Costa, for the Costa coffee. So I thought we'd take that one away with us. Some um, washing up liquid to take away with us and some of the uh, pet stain and odour just in case and also take this with us the anti-back multi-purpose um, apple fragrance cleaning spray so that's just some of the stuff i've already got some stuff packed but when it comes to us packing everything up ready to go i will do a like pack with me what we're taking on our self catering break can you hear my wind chime out there it was so windy today it's awful <laughs> 
Um, anyway, my lovely, so that is it. This is my Tesco online grocery shop today. Uh, a bit later, I will come back on and because I've broken everything down as to how much we spent on groceries, how much we spent on household stuff, how much we spent on the dogs, how much we spent on the items to take away with us. So I'll come back a bit later. I need to have a coffee now. I feel a bit dizzy.com. So I'm going to have a coffee and I will pop back and I'll break all those figures down for you. See you in a jiff. Okay, so I'm back again. And I said I'd pop back just with some figures. So this is the shopping on the 25th of May. And this is for two weeks. So the groceries came to like the food, that type of stuff, just like the food and the, the drinks came to £121.75. Um, the bits and bobs for the dogs, like the dog treats and the poo bags, that came to £11.30. Um, household bits came to £21.05. And uh, the bits to take away, the bits that I've said we've actually got to take away with us for our little self-catering break, came to £10.33. And the little bits that we've got to pop away in the freezer for Luke came to £5.20. So that came to £169.63. And then I just had my delivery charge on top of that. So for the next two weeks, dividing all of that, like the groceries, between three of us over two weeks, um, it comes to... £20.30 per week per person, um, which equals £2.90 per day. Um, the household stuff, like the washing liquid, etc., that equals £10.52 per week, and the dogs, £5.65 per week. Now, their dog food we buy separately, that is ordered from the vets. Um, so that's done completely separate on a different budget for the dogs. Um, but this, as I say, apart from I've got bits in the freezer, you know, still to, to use up, other bits in the pantry. Um, so all in all, this will last for two weeks with everything else that I've got. So I hope you have enjoyed this shopping haul. If you have, please give me a nice big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd be absolutely delighted and really appreciate it if you did. Um, press that notification bell, of course, for more uploads. And um, I'll be doing my next shopping haul in two weeks' time, where I will also be adding to the bits that were taken away with us and adding to the bits that we're going to be sort of leaving for Luke. As I say, there are other things that he can help himself, you know, to in the freezer, etc. And he'll probably have a takeaway or, or two anyway. <laughs> so that is my two week grocery haul. See you in the next one, everyone. Take care, won't you? Bye for now. Bye.